Well, we've actually got two chairs in this uh, chapel building of mine. We've got the pedal board on there, and we've got the organ over there. But we're here to look on, put on one of these packing crates. No, they're not tea chests. Um, is this battery? Because when we did the video the other day, I was running my Bannis Henry 66 plus the uh, MFJ auto tuner from this battery. So it's actually a battery box, the kind of thing you'd have to keep a battery safe in a caravan. And this has been passed on to us by our mystery benefactor, Alan. So in there, we have a car battery, and very nicely done, we've got proper clamps, so that can come out of the case. So we've got A leading brand battery there, 74 amp hour. For safety, in a plastic case, so there's no leaks. It's the kind of thing you'd have on your caravan. Or like we have a, we've got a yellow box with a uh, 90 odd amp hour battery in our radio van. So we've got these clamps, and these have got four millimeter binding posts on. And then what he's done is to build the electronics into the lid. So we've got the negatives going straight through to the, uh, we've got a cigarette lighter socket, we've got a USB socket, we've got the binding posts, and then they're all fused properly, so absolutely fine. So you've got two lots of binding posts for your output. He's put these on to plug a charger into it to actually charge the battery. And then you've got these two outlets cigarette type and a couple of USBs both at 2.1 amps so it's really well thought out that the lid simply plugs in like that he's got a strap around there for security not so much for lifting it in the case it's got handles built in for lifting it and then you've got on and off switch, and then you've got a, a voltmeter on there, and as you can see, it's got plenty of charge in it. So I just thought there was a bit of interest. So I thought we will do a little three minute video. So it's not something you're going to hump up a hill to do your QRP, but uh, this is absolutely ideal for the kind of thing we do, and obviously the kind of thing Team's been doing in the past. Um, can you help us an LED there as well? Because we don't have, uh, as far as radio ham stuff do, goes, really we haven't got anything above 20 watts. We haven't really got anything that draws more than 5 amps. It's just, that kind of thing just isn't of interest to me. So it's absolutely ideal. So there you are, quick tour around the battery I was using yesterday, which was kindly donated by our mystery benefactor, Alan. And of course, thank you, Alan.